Indie Voice here with Recon Angling. We're out here at good old Henry's Lake in Idaho. Uh, it's snowing out here the day before Thanksgiving. Um, I, I love it, the weather, when it's like this uh, for, for big trout. Uh, it really gets these fish fired up early ice season. Uh, so stay tuned. Hopefully we can get some, uh, some cool fish on film for you guys and uh, share some uh, tips and techniques that we use out here uh, fishing, so stay tuned. <laughs> Trying to get the GoPro set up, but these fish will not let me. Another beautiful fish. Hey guys, what's going on? We're out here trout fishing, and here is the trout attack. Uh, I've already caught three, four fish on here. Just kind of got out here. I haven't even had a chance to put bait on it. These fish are just aggressive. It's snowing outside, but um, this is the Dynamic Lures uh, trout attack. So I'm just going to show you kind of how uh, I jig this. So you can see it going down there on the live scope. But you can see I'm not really, not really moving it a whole lot. <clears throat> and you can see in the picture in picture uh, video too, kind of doing the same motions. And you can kind of see underwater what that bait's doing. But when a fish comes in, I kind of just shake it. Or even I'll take my finger and just kind of tap it like this. And it really gets that tail uh, kind of going. So, uh Stick with us here, Let's see if we can get some fish to come on and uh, bite for us. But yeah, just uh, we're gonna do some different tactics. This is just the trout attack. Uh, here in a minute, we're gonna get into the HD ice and then some other baits that we use out here for these uh, trout and early ice. I'll show so you guys a little around. tip too. Um, when you're using the, any bait, you know, this is the trout attack, but you see how my knot is up i always push it back like that so anytime you're fishing a bait like that i always pull the knot straight parallel with the bait like that and not straight up like that because when you go put it down there the bait's going to sit vertically in the water now instead of or sorry horizontally um in the water instead of vertically um, so you're going to have a more natural presentation. You can see that trout attack has just been bit up this morning. But uh, just a small tip that makes a big difference when fishing early season trout. You little bastard. Got him that time. The little guy. Trout attack. Blow. <laughs> Dude, that's nuts. Over here trying to set jackers up and just caught that one. I just set it down there. I always, a little trick too is when you're setting these jackers up, always put your rod down. I always put my line down while I'm getting the jaw jackers out and uh, usually catch a couple fish. And just like I was talking about earlier, these trout early ice are curious. So I just drilled this hole, dropped a line down there and caught that fish. And so just another little technique, just utilize, um, utilize your time wisely out here. You know, always have a line down, down there, even if you're working on getting stuff set up, have a line down there because you never know when a fish is gonna come through. On the job jacker. Got one on the jacker already. Just setting up the other jaw jacker. Looked over here. 
This one's going off. Feels like a good fish. Oh yeah, nice cutthroat. Beautiful fish. Put it back down. And Nick's all like, hey, look, look, look. <laughs> That's yours. Pretty. Yeah. Nick hooked up. He's doing the spin. This hole, we just that same hole I was talking about. You see him? Hold on, no, it's right there. He's doing Good job, little Berkey and a trout pack. Calm down, dude. <clears throat> He's still, I'm letting him fight a little bit before he comes up, but.
big fish down there. Let's see if we'll come by it. I don't know where he went. He was on the bottom there. But as you can see, I got the live scope in forward mode. You can run it in down mode too, um, but the reason why I like it in forward like this is I can see kind of all around me, and there's the fish right on my bait. Oh, I got him. He's on. You can see him down there. <laughs> but you can see how I like to have that in forward mode so I can see kind of what's going on down there. Nice. Pretty fish. Gonna stop squirming here for a second. Oh no. This little thing needs to chill out. That's why they call them slimers. Thanks, kicking my butt. Get this hook on down. But anyway, I was trying to show you guys. Get this trout tack out. Hey, let go. He doesn't want to let go of this thing. How I like to have that, and you can see I have the at set at 20 feet, but you can you can bring it in even closer, and uh, I just like you can see stuff a lot better. Put my bait back down there. I'll show you guys kind of what I'm talking about, though. Um, I like to fish in forward mode sometimes when I'm fishing shallow, just because you can see so much of what's going on and so it's an easy way to zoom in on your spot just like that and you can see I'm kind of in a patch of weeds kind of like the last of the brookie video I'm in a patch of weeds there's my bait right here weeds weeds no weeds so you can really tell in forward mode kind of what's around you where the fish are coming from and then you can zoom out too if you want uh, to cover more ground every once in a while and turn and see. So this really helps me dial in where I need to be, uh, especially when you're fishing a lake like this with a lot of weeds. It lets you find these pockets in the weeds, get your bait in front of more fish as opposed to fishing in the weeds. It's a little bit harder, um, but I like to find these pockets. And so this kind of shows you the advantages to fishing with live scope because uh, you won't be able to see this with a traditional flasher um, kind of what's going on but now we've got that fish kind of out of there we can talk about this a little bit more in detail so just another thing to think about when you're out here early ice for trout there he is picked up uh, little guy he's spicy though Yeah, he's real feisty. It wasn't the big one I had saw or Steve had seen just before that, but he'll do too. Cute little guy. There we go. <clears throat> Yo, good one. Picked up with another big one. Oh, 
fatty on it. Trout attack. with a nice 22 inch brook trout. We're gonna go dump them in the jaw jacker hole here. Big brook, put them sideways. Oh, there you go. Got the HD ice, the lipless crankbait. I'm gonna show you guys how to fish this. You can kind of see it on the GoPro, on the uh, live scope there. I like to bring it just off. We already got a fish right on us. I'm gonna just rip this thing. You can see, pretty aggressive with the rips. <clears throat> and that thing just kind of flutters around. So when fishing gets slow, you know, you can, I like to put this on there, the HD ice from Dynamic Lures, <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> kind of like a search bait, so you just kind of rip this thing, and uh, <clears throat> the water clarity is pretty good, so um, this thing gets a lot of action, covers a lot of ground, um, so it's a good way to stir the weeds up too, so you'll see me here in a bit, I'll probably put it down on the bottom and rip some weeds, so it kind of stirs up the bugs and stuff, and early season uh, trout fishing, uh, that will help you uh, call the fish in. Um, you know they they see that uh, that cloud down there, and you know think there's a feeding frenzy going on. So a lot of times they'll come in um, for that. And also, you know, trout generally speaking are curious. Um, so <clears throat> I'll actually, you know, if I'm not seeing anything too, I'll drill a couple holes around where I'm fishing, <clears throat> and a lot of times. Uh, you'll catch a fish right off the bat because they hear that noise and they'll come and check it out. So don't be afraid to make a little bit of noise uh, while out on the ice uh, to call in those trout early season because um, they are pretty curious um, first ice. So we'll see if we can rip up some weeds here on the bottom and get some fish on the board. You can see kind of what I was talking about here. <laughs> I like to rip up these weeds and uh, you can see on the live scope here just how much how much stuff right in here you can see there's a big fish so we're gonna get this sucker down see if we can get this fish coming in to bite he's looking at it he's turning around come on Oh, he swirled around like he was going to hit it and then swam away. He's still there. You can see him on the live scope. <clears throat> but you see how quick 
that is uh just pulling up those weeds as soon as i pull up those weeds it wasn't 30 seconds fish came in to see what was going on so it just uh you know shows you that kind of me messing around with these weeds uh you know those fish kind of they pay attention to that we got one right come on yeah he went away now but the bite has kind of slowed down a little bit so <clears throat> that's kind of why i threw the hd ice on here the trout attack i was trying to get everything set up this morning and couldn't even get the gopro running uh you'll see some footage uh you know from earlier um on my phone because i couldn't even get the gopro uh, i couldn't get everything set up i had my bait down there kept seeing fish and just started wiggling the trout attack but anyway um i just dropped this sucker down in the weeds you can see all the weeds down here and uh just started ripping and ripped up a piece of that weed and a big old fish came in he just wouldn't just couldn't get our bait down there i think uh we were a little late getting it down there but that's all right more will come in and uh we'll get it on uh film for you hey guys what's going on it's black friday and that means fishing deals and well maybe even a fish let's see if he'll bite but i wasn't gonna go over some cool deals with the arc flap shuttle that that fish is on here feels like a better one. Oh yeah we got a line peeler yo 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 I look over here because I'm going over like all the different things on here. And uh, I'm like, oh, hey, there's a fish. Let's see if he'll bite while we're talking black tiny deals. Oh, that's a good one. Yep, on the HD eyes. minute fight so far <laughs> he's got some ump to him huh? Big hybrid. A little brookie. 
aggressive little guy. Oh, nice rookie. Squirting eggs everywhere. Holy crap, dude. Calm down. Beautiful burpee. On the HD ice. Go ahead and get her back. Pretty one. Yeah, nice color. I thought it was bigger actually when I first. Ooh, nice big cut. Big cut. Yo! Big cut, big cut. up with another nice cut here. Got another big one. Nice cuts. You just, I mean, they're coming in and they're not even looking at it. They're just coming in and crushing it. He's bigger than the last one. Oh, it's a pretty fish too. Oh, 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 oh God, look at that. Look at the colors on that, guys. 
Look at that size. Look at so the. Bro, chill out. Look at the colors. Nice big 24 inch cut. Hooked up, last light. Another jumbo. Another beautiful fish to end the day, end the trip. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> You're good. <laughs>